Hello everyone. So, earning money on selling games. Now, I've been thinking about this for some time, that, you know, my first game that I will make will be free, because first off, it's my first game, it's not going to be perfect, it's, it's just the first game of mine, and this game will kind of give you the idea of what my future games will be. I know I'm going to be using different, different game, um, different, um, uh, what is it? Different, um, types of, uh, I, why am I not thinking straight? You know I'm not going to be, you know, focusing on one type of gaming genre. I'm going to be talking about, making games about different genres. So, you know, and the thing is that playing this game would at least give you an idea of something that I would create. So, you guys can know, okay, I like this idea of this game. I like this certain type of game. I want to see more. So, you know, people will actually um, support my support me and stuff like that for the future games. So the next game I want to make is okay. There's a lot game, a lot of games I want to create. I just want to make a few visual novels at first because it's good to make a few visual novels. It's very easy and. I can make them way complicated and people will enjoy them. So, the next thing I want to make is a TG visual novel. Now, the thing is, I will make a demo and a full version. Now, the demo will be, you know, a demo. If, you know, if you want, if you want to play this full game, first play the demo and see if it's for you. So, the demo will just be one story and you know, uh, it would just pretty much be a really good way, okay, not a good way, uh, I need to find some good words, it, w it would be a good way to show everyone what the full game will be, so people can look forward for that, um, also, this game won't be too expensive, because once again, my first paid game, my first priced game, that is, so, it's best if I start off short, so, I would say five dollars, cause that's the most I would ever go for. If that sound a lot, maybe I don't know. Uh, so, hold on, let me do some calculations. So, five dollars may seem too much for some people. Some may seem that it's too little, but I think it's perfect just for starting off with with these type of games because. I don't want to rob people. I don't like that. You know, it would just feel so wrong to do that. So, okay. Let's just search dollars. Okay, so I'm going to be converting dollars to my country's currency, which is rands. So, $5 is 73.73 point, 73 rands 50 cents. So, Okay, see, so pretty much I'm going to get like 73 rands per sale, per game sale, so it would be cool, and what I'm going to do with this money is not spend it wi wild, it's, it's going to be different, I'm going to be s saving it up to buy more equipment for making better games, because I want to expand and make different types of games, so, you know, I would save that for a computer. The next game I would like to make is pretty much, what else? Mm, let's just see. I have to think about this. Okay, let's just say I would make a DLC for this, for this TG visual novel. Now the DLC, you know, there will be free updates as well as the DLC, which will be a dollar, so pretty much it'll be different, okay? It's cheap, but you get way more than you would expect. So, okay. You know, once I start earning this money, I would be able to fund my, my future plans. So it would be good as well. The next game I would make, okay, is more or less some wacky games, some wacky visual novels that I have in mind. 
a few of them are part of the story universe. So, you know, even this TG game is part of the story universe, but it's a light game. It's a light, perverted game. Um, but I know people will enjoy it because it's fun. So, once I know that people are enjoying my games and my programming is becoming better and I can make much better games, the price of some new games would be changed. So, let's just say I make a really wonderful 3D game, a really wonderful fighting game, a really wonderful um, RPG, and it's so good that, you know, that I think of pricing it $10 or $20. Now, that would be good as well, because I don't want to overprice people, overprice, overcharge people, because each game, I have to look at the entire content of the game and see what it's worth, and think about it very carefully. I have to pretty much meet a middle ground with myself, because I don't want, I don't like overcharging people, that's just it. So, I want people to play my games at an, at an affordable price, and I want them to know that it's very, it's, it's, it's a good, tr like, I'm a good person, I'm not, well, of course I'm a good person, like, come on, I'm so good, but, <laughs> okay, I don't know. Um, there's going to be a lot of visual novels coming from me. I'm also thinking of making this life visual novel, which pretty much, um, there's this uh, simulator visual novel where you play as different types of species within my story universe, and, you know, you get to live their life, you get to live the life of these characters, and you know, you get to do different choices, make different choices, so, hey, it's cool. So, now that's for the future, because, you know, it's for the future, but it will also give you the way, the, the idea on how these species live throughout their times. So, it would be cool. Very cool. So cool. It's gonna be so awesome. Oh my gosh. There's a freaking ginormous ant spider on my ceiling. Wow, like, I'm fine with spiders, like, like those, those, those normal spiders, but this looks like a freaking ant fused with a spider. Oh my gosh, it better not fall on me. It looks like a spider at first, but yeah, it's like a spider, I guess. It's not one of those jumping spiders, too. It's, it's like a black ant spider. I don't know, I have to kill it. It's been, it's been in my room for a few days now and I don't like it. It's not bothering me, but hey, it could bother my other spiders in the room. I have two spiders in my room. The red one that stays in the ceiling and, you know, kills some bugs and another baby one. Another baby jumpy one, brown baby jumpy one. So, you know, like those two, they're gonna stay in my room, okay? I'm fine with that, but you know, these gi giant ones? Uh-uh, no. Go away. Go away. Please go away. Um, okay. Enough about talking about star uh, spiders. So, I just want to say... Um... I don't know. <laughs> I just hope I can, you know, start earning a lot. Because, trust me, you know, back when I was starting YouTube, I focused everything on YouTube. I was like, YouTube is the thing that is going to help me and going to make me, you know, earn money, but it's not going to work like that the way YouTube is going right now. It's going to take a while, so it's best if I just work with the things that I have right now, which is making these visual novels. It's going to be much good, much better, in fact. Uh, I also want to make cutesy visual novels. I have some ideas, a lot of ideas actually, like, come on, you guys should see my freaking, um, what is it, um, my laptop, the amount of ideas is insane, like, I have w way too much free time on my hands, oh my gosh, um, maybe I'll make a cool, I don't know, a cute, perverted game or something like that. But remember, I'm not going to be 
throwing out this money that I earn, I'm going to be much smarter with it and, you know, use it for equipment, um, for myself, for the future, because, uh, let's face it, if I want to do stuff in the future, I need to save for it. Um, also, when it comes to comics that I would be selling, it's not just going to go to waste and make me freaking, you know, go spend wild, because, to be honest, I do like buying stuff, sometimes ridiculous, pointless stuff, but, you know, I'm not going to buy so ridiculous things. I'm not going everywhere to buy super ridiculous things. Um, over the years of growing up, I realized that spending too much sucks, so that's why I don't want to spend too much. Also, um, I would not want to freaking, um, you know, act like the super rich dude or something like that. Like, you know, like this freaking, what is the word? Is it pump? I don't know. But I don't want to act like this, like this weird dude with, you know, so much wealth and throws all these parties all the time and stuff like that. I'm not f like, the, like that person. I am so different. Because, you know, I guess when you grow up, you realize that you have to save for the future. And not only that, but you have to save for your future family and for myself as well. Because, tr oh my gosh, transitioning is going to be expensive, okay? So, it's best if I save. So, yeah, that's just it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.